Alan and Sue Burton. We live in Derbyshire and our background is very much in education. Both of us have worked for a long time in education, both in the UK and overseas. Uh, we've lived here for a year and a half now. Um, it, the house we're in is, it's a ground floor flat in a former mill owner's house in, um, in, at the bottom of the Lumsdale Valley in Derbyshire. Um, the owners of um, a bleach mill lived here from the 1920s and the house itself dates back to about the 1820s, so it's mainly Georgian. We're just off the Derwent Valley World Heritage Site where Richard Arkwright developed the first factory and cotton machines. Um, in our valley here we have the Lumsdale Waterfalls and it was at a working party of SPAB, the Society for the Protection of Ancient Buildings, last summer that I met Val from Acropol. Um, he was voluntarily working on preservation work on a series of five mills which are adjacent to these waterfalls and at a celebratory barbecue at the end of the week we, my husband Alan and I met Val again and we got talking about what he did when he told us he had a damp system we were very interested we asked him about it he didn't at all talk to us about it we, we could have walked away not knowing what you did at all um, and we've got some damp, <laughs> why don't you come and take a look? And literally the very next morning he was here giving us a really thorough assessment for the outside and the inside because we had uh, some patches of rising damp, particularly in the hallway. Um, in terms of the damp in the building, as Sue said, it was both in, in the hallway but on some internal walls as well in living areas and this was both um, surprising of course but somewhat shocking when one looks into traditional methods of treating the problem and we did have a more tr traditional interventionist firm who came out we were talking about injection processes and this seemed both inappropriate for the historic building that was in and very disruptive in terms of the amount of work uh, that would have to take place and quite surprising in terms of what the level of overall cost might be. So we certainly put that on the back burner while we were thinking about possible uh, alternatives to dealing with the problem. And this is where the, um, the summer meet of, of SPAB, who were looking over the, the, the relics and ruins of the mills in the area, was very fortunate for us because we there were able to meet both experts and enthusiasts. Uh, and Val immediately impressed us with the kind of sympathy that he had both for the historical fabric of the building, but also the kind of technical awareness that he was able to bring to um, our particular problem and he very kindly the following morning came round uh, to give us an assessment uh, but not in any kind of pushy way or salesman kind of way it was much more as an enthusiast that he came around and that's something that particularly struck us uh, and made us yeah. want to work with this kind of enthusiasm yeah and it was in sharp contrast with the woman the year before from the normal the regular damp company who literally had pound signs ringing up in her eyes. You, you could see it, couldn't you? Mm. Well, this is a good, she was almost going, this mm. is a good one here. <laughs> and it was so different, the experience. And then there was the nice surprise of, well, our, we had no idea what Val's, what the Acropole system was, because he hadn't mentioned it. He just said, I will come and give you some advice. So we had absolutely no idea. So when we heard that it was totally non-invasive, that it was just gonna look like a lamp, hanging anywhere um, and was going to be about a quarter of the cost of that uh, traditional system, we were just absolutely over the moon, you know, we just could hardly believe it. What particularly impressed us with the system was that it's quick to install. Yeah, half there an hour, wasn't it? There's literally no mess associated with the system mm -hmm. compared to traditional methods. That was a major consideration yeah. for us. And then cost effectiveness, as Sue has just said, it seemed to be anything up to three quarters cheaper yeah. than uh, more traditional methods. So all of those combined, plus the fact that it seemed to be the ideal 
technology for dealing with historical buildings, yeah. which we are very concerned about, made it the ideal product for us. Mm. Our dealings with Aquapol have been first rate all the time. The communication is excellent. The times that they say they're going to be there, they are there. Uh, they seem very technically aware, very enthusiastic about their product mm. and make everything uh, clear all along. And we're very impressed by the work that they've done, the approach that they've taken, the fact that um, you're given a very thorough scientific yeah. um, assessment to start with yeah. in terms of the levels of the damp. This is not your estate yeah. agents coming with old fashioned style no. prong damp readers yeah. which are virtually useless. This is space mm. age uh, compared to that. Um, and the follow-up service is something that um, we, 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 we also didn't expect, did didn't we? expect and would never have expected from any other kind of damp no. proof firm. And that has been both reassuring and, and first rate all the time. We've had two experiences, a, a traditional assessment, which was essentially a salesperson mm. who came, uh, who didn't have high tech equipment and didn't seem to be very aware in terms of the detailed technical yeah. background to the problems. Yeah. So to then have a, a team of engineers come in uh, with high tech equipment uh, and were able to talk to us in detail, yeah. um, but also to explain to non-experts exactly what yeah. was happening and what was going to happen was hugely reassuring. Uh, and it seemed to be a level of, of competence and expertise beyond anything we'd experienced elsewhere. Yeah. Also the speed of installation. We, we met Val on the Friday night. Saturday morning it was here and on the Monday morning it was installed. 9am <laughs> on Monday. I mean, it was just amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. So we couldn't literally have been any quicker. And then it was half an hour installing it and then he went round uh, taking samples from two parts of the wall where there were visible signs of damp it was that that took a bit of time mm. just to do that but it was in functioning <laughs> in a half an hour and it was just yeah. amazing wasn't it and the follow-up session has taken place very recently after and six after six months and we are now declared thoroughly dry so we can do nothing but endorse the product as entirely suitable for historic buildings and definitely a system that works. Mm. And it's been a particularly wet winter yes, this true. year and we wondered yeah. how that might affect things and yeah. in fact the Aquapole system has seemingly dealt with that uh, extra moisture and extra mm. wet in the ground totally yeah. effectively. Yeah. Um, so that's another endorsement yeah. for the system. <laughs> I would have no hesitation um, ad advising somebody to consider the Aquapol mm. system. If they Definitely. lived in a, an old property or worked in a historic property, mm. um, to suggest they look into it quite carefully to contact Aquapol and get a free assessment. It would, there's certainly um, no reason to go down any other kind of avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this works, as we've said before, because of cost effectiveness, because of speed of installation, because of the lack of mess, mm. um, there really is no rival to, to what Acapol can do no. for historic or, or period buildings. Thank you very much.